in September we focus very much on the children settling in and getting used to their surroundings and their friends and then we start to work on sounds, introducing sounds for reading and writing. The children often know their sounds so we build on reading words if they're ready and if they're not ready they build on recognising sounds. By the end of the year most reception children will be able to read and write basic simple sentences. They'll be able to add, subtract, use numbers, order numbers. They'll be able to actually be very independent, have lots of independent skills, good physical skills, imaginative and creative skills and knowledge about the world. The children are very happy, very motivated, very engaged, very enthusiastic um, in their learning. They're very good, they get on very well together and they're actually very independent. Well the children today are learning about positional language so we're using their little mini-me's here where they've all got photographs of themselves and they are putting them in different places um, on the furniture and they're going to be describing where they are. Who is in the bath? Me. You are in the bath. As head, I aspire to ignite learning potential and grow a diverse, confident, flourishing community. I love this, this age, group, age group because you can so easily captivate their, their, uh, their imagination and provide a, a vibrant, exciting, wow type learning environment uh, that they can fully engage in and learn lots from. We love Forest School! I think that especially in reception when they're quite new to being in a classroom all the time, by having this opportunity to come outside they can really use their learning in the classroom bring it out here and see how it relates to the real world. I think they love the freedom they get here. We try, we have rope ladders, um, we, off, we also have free play as well as planned activities and when they do free play they're, they're able to use all the equipment that we have. We love music! So the reception children can start playing violins and even have a go on a, a much larger cello. We do lots of, lots of body movements, so lots of stomping around the room, trying to keep in time with the rhythm. The rhythm's so important for younger children. We love to play! We use the big playground at the front, and they really develop lots of great physical skills as climbing frames, as balance equipment. We love sport! In reception, the children do quite a lot of different activities of sport. They do sport at least four times a week. So on a Monday they do a gymnastics or athletics session depending on which term it is. They do a game session, they do a swimming session and they do a dance session. And as well as that we do lots of physical activity in outdoor play as well. Often you see very different children come out in different ways in physical activity, it's really interesting. And the physical skills are particularly important for developing their um, movement and their skills but also to develop their gross motor skills which then in turn develop their fine motor skills which are important for writing. Research proves that a happy child learns best. And then this dovetailed with the, the, the incredible caring teaching team that have invested time to get to know the child, to partner with parents, to learn the child's interests, their passions, their strengths, their areas for development, and then to tailor the curriculum for the child for this day so that they can make their best potential progress. And then these two dovetail together. When you've got a happy child and a tailored curriculum and you put them together, you get an explosion of learning potential. That's something that I love about the pre-prep.